The gemstones our ancestors mined, and the ones we collect and value today, all come from millions of years ago. Most crystals are older than the dinosaurs. From priceless heirlooms to natural minerals providing raw materials, crystals can be found everywhere around the world. Many don't realize crystals are more than simple rocks. They are art, an asset class, and hold educational value. The Aztec Sun is the top piece of a group of specimens found in a mine called Mapami in, in Mexico. In the 70s, early 70s, one group turned down a $7,000 bill on, on this cluster. Eventually, the top pieces, including the Aztec Sun, went to a Mexican senator by the name of Miguel Romero. Today, it would be worth easily five to $10 million, and it resides in the Beirut Mineral Museum. Minerals have become an art class. The value of collecting minerals as beautiful objects literally can drive mining. In rural economies, imagine rural communities can sustain their resources the way you would if, if you were husbanding a rainforest. These things are beautiful, and when they're, they're collected properly, when we preserve value in those communities, Minerals and crystals are both art and science. They hold a one-of-a-kind lens to nature's beauty, while also providing a vast amount of information into the scientific and cultural history of a region. From the forms, colors, symmetry, and sources, crystals have been present in the origin of human art and science. Minerals are a really interesting way to help people get engaged in the sciences. We like to think of it as a little bit of a gateway drug, it's a lot easier to show people a really beautiful gold or sulfur and have them understand the correlation between the periodic table than it is to just show them something in a book. People are starting to realize that there is a combination and a correlation between science and art. Every kid likes fossils, rocks, crystals. At some point in childhood, you like them till it's not cool and you move on and have a normal life. But if you step back thousands of years, probably the beauty of nature was the ultimate inspiration for, for most human art. Color, symmetry, shapes, patterns, it all comes from nature. And crystals, they're, they're natural sculptures. They epitomize all the qualities you'd see in art. As some of nature's most visually intriguing, untouched forms, minerals and crystals have a power to inspire people about natural beauty and complexity. Arkenstone holds crystals in the highest regard. These minerals are, are flowers of the in, inorganic world. I have never in my life, even those years that I worked as a petroleum geologist, have ever gotten up and, and look forward more to being in a place than right here. Every time I'm here, something new comes in and I, sometimes I have to have them. So I love the minerals so much, even at my age. I never had a normal life. I was just a permanent nerd. I had a high truancy rate in high school because I tended to go rock collecting in the afternoon. I was at Rice University when we had the first emails and T1 lines. When I started putting minerals online, I had a scientific mindset, so I decided to archive the information. All this data I had been giving to the mineral database for 20 years turned out to be useful to NASA. When NASA's mineralogy laboratory found a new mineral species, I was really honored that it was named Levinskyite, in part for my contributions to education and this database. Arkenstone appreciates the journey, having over 35 years of experience in collecting and dealing. With a deep history rooted in crystals, Arkenstone wants to share their love and knowledge of fine minerals with everyone. You can post something on social media and it could be sold five minutes later. People have made new friends and they're trading specimens between Japan and Europe. You might be a 19-year-old kid in Kentucky and you know nobody else who's interested in fine minerals. And suddenly, because of the internet, you're able to find like-minded people, you're able to find peers who are also into this, and suddenly this hobby that maybe felt a little bit isolated before is this worldwide community that you're a part of. 
While minerals are shown in museums in the United States, they're not shown primarily as artistic objects. How do you make nature more engaging to the public? Through having beautiful objects, through connecting them to gemstone origins, and through connecting them to how these things become part of our culture and civilization. My whole career has been to push this field onward and promote this beauty first idea of nature. I don't understand anything else. I don't understand modern art, but put a crystal in my hands and I got goosebumps. To learn more, contact us today.